we will see here process state in an operating system process state is also known as process life cycle process life cycle okay so whenever it executes it changes its states so now here we will take an general example how it will change its states to show you that how the process is going to be changed so whatever the whatever the program we had taken that program is written in the text file if that program is executing it stores in the main memory okay so here it changes its states like new let me write that new ready running waiting and terminated these are the five states in process state diagram okay now we will see the new state what is the the uh, in the new state the process is being created it is applied in the new state okay let's suppose we had written a program and it stores in the secondary memory in short we can say that it is used to be created new okay now we will see the ready in the ready in the ready state it is ready for doing a particular work or any execution by cpu it is in this state the process is not working now but it is still ready it is assigned to the processor it is in short we can say that it assigned to the processor only running state okay in the running state the instruction is executing in cpu that is the scheduler dispatch okay at the time of execution if there is any problem or error then it goes and waiting state that is an input output or event completion okay so in short we can say that it is used to execute it and now in waiting state the process is waiting for some event occur it is still in waiting state until you should solve the problem and disturbance that is input output completion okay it will it is still in waiting state until you should solve the problem and disturbance that is input output or event completion whenever the problem solve you are ready to solve your work to do your work okay in short we can say that some event occur now in last state this is the terminated state this is the last state in the process state state the process has finished its execution when all the works are completed then you are going to terminate state that is the exit state now we can see easily you can say that it is the finished state okay these these are the five states we had seen now we can we learn Since we see the diagram, this is the diagram of process state. In this is new, ready, running, waiting, and terminated. Okay, so in new state, the process is admitted to do a particular work, and now ready, ready to running state, ready to running. Whenever it the schedule is dispatched, the processor, the process, the processor become ready to running. now running to ready whenever it interrupt is generated now while the running while the program is executing suppose an event is occur it has to enter into the waiting state whenever the problem is solved it is co is completed then it goes to an ready state when all when whenever the program is over then it goes to an exit state that is the finished state finish
थैंक यू